Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, I want to take the time to sort of go over all this cloth stuff that you're going to need to know if you are a mage, warlock, and priest. Um, I'm not sure exactly if other healers use white mane and other stuff like that, or if you're going to be a tailor and do that. But the core of this is to cover the mage, warlock, and priest stuff for the Burning Crusade because... I've been just been doing research personally for myself, seen everything I need to get, and it is a lot of effort, time, and commitment that you're going to have to make. So, from the beginning, we're going to start right here. Um, as Horde, you're going to come to Thralmar right here, and you're going to talk to this tailoring trainer. Um, you're going to learn the next level of tailoring, a bunch of these recipes. Um, I'm level 300 straight from Classic, and that's the first step. If you are Alliance, there's one at Honor Hold. I don't know exactly where that is. I do not have an Alliance character to sort of show you that at the moment. But anyway, that is the first step. Next, since I have already gone to the um, Shatterath, I'm going to hearth to Scryer's Hold and head to the Cloth Specialization people and this is where um, it starts to get um, a bit much so depending on which class you want there's going to be a specific gear set uh, mages pretty much just go straight spell weave and spell strike it's pretty simple for them they only get that they're going to need a total of 46 of that um, and then warlocks are going to go with uh, shadow weave and then priests are going to go with the moon cloth so i went from um scryer's tier just from right here to the vendors you can if you're outlaw and you're at the end there you can do the same thing you just head right here and these are the specialists so what's really interesting about this is you can do all three regardless of your specialization so, as you can see, like, to make these pieces, um, for the Mooncloth robe, shoulders, um, and belt, you need to be a Mooncloth tailor, but to get Primal Mooncloth, you do not. So, every single tailor should come here and get Primal Mooncloth, they should go here and get Spellcloth, and they should go here and get Shadow Cloth. At 350 tailoring, you can learn this pretty freaking easily. Now, in order to get there, there are many, many sort of routes you can take. Um, you can, right now, uh, if you prep, Mooncloth has no CB, it's been removed. So, a really, really quick way that a lot of people are doing is they're just making Mooncloth bags all the way up. It's one of the cheapest ones, and it can get you to uh, 350 just by making those. Um, however, since you're going to be, if you're playing on your main character like I am, another route that you can take, and for anyone in the future, um, because I feel like you're going to have a ton of this, is the nether weave cloth route. So what you're going to do is you're just going to make nether weave cloth till you're 325, and then you're going to make bolts of imbued nether weave cloth till you're 340. Then from 340 to 350, you can make nether weave boots. That's the path I would recommend taking. Um, I would also recommend having um, those materials at that master trainer in Thralmar for any alts that you're going to be making, um, tailoring bots, things like that. Um, as you can see right here, here's the Bolt of Imbued Netherweave. You can buy this and send it to anyone that you want. Um, you can also make Imbued Netherweave bags if you want 18 slaughters. Um, that's something that you're going to have to decide later. But that's just a few of the paths that I'd recommend getting to 350 tailoring. Important. So, thing to mention is that once you hit 350 tailoring on anything, you are going to be able to specialize your tailoring. Now, a specialization for each of these, you can only be one, and when you um, pick that specialization, that's sort of how you learn those, but it will give you double um, cloth for whichever one you do. So each cast of Shadow Weave, each cast of Spell Weave, and each class of Moon Cloth is going to be um, double, which is really, really good for you. Um, it makes it so much quicker. And each of these moon, uh, cloths have a cooldown of three days and 20 hours. So it's almost four days per use of this. So it's super, super, um, important to note that and make sure you guys are aware of this. And that's why there's going to be such a rush for having a bunch of, um, tailoring alts and stuff like that because, 
unlike alchemy, you do not need to be a certain level to specialize. You can specialize here at 60. Um, it's super easy, and it's very, very recommended that you do this um, for your bots and such. But anyway, guys, now we're going to continue talking about what we're going to do next. Alrighty, guys, so this is the Shadow Weave edition. So here is the Shadow Weave specialist. You're going to want to click you. on him in order to sort of get your stuff. Shadow Cloth, the Frozen, Shadow Weave shoulders, robe, and boots. Um, this is also the gear that you would use if you are going to be a Frost Mage. That is just something that you can sort of... Um, you know, decide on your own if you want to do that, as well as the Spellfire stuff, but these mats are a lot. So, unfortunately for Warlocks, as well as Shadow Priests, you guys do sort of have to diversify, and you do need some Spellfire also. Um, er, well, you do not need Spellfire, but you need Spell Strike as well. So, um, you need this for the, um, Helm and the pants that we um, had mentioned before in the sort of mage video. And those pieces are going to drop from the uh, Murmurer in Shadow Labs. He drops the um, pants. It's going to be right here, um, a part of Akundin. And then we go to the Hellfire Peninsula for Grand Warlock um, Nethra Curse. Um, he is in Hellfire Citadel Shattered Halls. Good news is, while these are 70 instances, they do not require you to be um, in Heroic in order to drop it from everything I'm seeing here. That could be wrong. I have yet to test this. I hope that that is true and it's just normal instances. Um, but if I'm wrong, I am sorry for that. So anyway, in order for Shadow Weave, similar to um, Spellcloth, how you have to go somewhere, Spellcloth can be anywhere in Netherstorm. Pretty simple. Shadow Moon Valley requires you to go to the Altar of Shadow, which is around here. Um, this is the Court of Stars spot. Unfortunately, I haven't explored this, and I can't get an add-on to really show the map. But it's somewhere in this area. I don't have the exact um, location um, for you guys. But I know if you are a scryer and you head here, um, you get the Flight Master, which is right next to it. So that's an important thing to mention if you are going Shadow Weave Cloth and... Um, sort of any class that really depends on that to pick scryers so you can have that easy flight path um anyway let's get into the total mats so in order for you to make both of these materials the spell strike as well as the frozen shadow um it's going to be Hello. a total of 138 bolts of netherweave and 92 arcane dust for the 46 imbued netherweave cloth is going to be 56 primal fire 48 primal water 26 primal shadow 30 primal mana 10 primal air 10 primal earth 2 primal nethers 8 netherweave spider silk and this will total you the materials of 20 spell strike cloth 20 shadow cloth and the 10 primal mites um the primal mites are from alchemy and it's important to note that each cooldown is about four hours to make um but anyway guys that's pretty much it for the uh shadow um we've set um this is what i would recommend as warlock bis shadow priest bis coming into phase one if you do decide to go a destruction warlock then i would refer to the spellfire guide um that's why i'm sort of covering all these getting all these guides out there because um these mats are just sort of what I think you should be going, but if you want to go something else, please refer to the other resources. Um, you know, the Spellfire set, entirely that. They tend to go with what spec you're playing, guys. That's the most important thing. Um, I'm going to be covering the Mooncloth one next, and yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day. And that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.